All right, Jonathan, I'm under contract on this amazing house, Woo! but the appraisal just came in super low. The seller is not willing to come down. I still want to buy it. What do I do? Pray you're working with a great lender and watch this video and we'll show you what to do. Amen. All right, so let's jump into it. Appraisal came in low. What are my options? What do we need to address first? Yeah, so when a house uh, appraises for lower than contract price, that can be an issue for the buyer. And so if you're watching this video and you're putting down the minimum payment, also I actually shot a video a while back of what to do when your house doesn't appraise. This video is for borrowers who are not putting down the minimum down payment. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is a lender can only lend on the lower of the purchase price or the appraised value. And so we want to shoot a kind of follow up video about what if you're putting down more than the minimum down payment and the house doesn't appraise? What are your options? Yep, great question. Yeah, and the biggest thing to know is just because a house doesn't appraise does not mean you or your buyer have to come out of pocket more. What we want to do is just walk you guys through two simple solutions that we use whenever someone is in this predicament. Yeah. So we've got one solution where it's going to increase your cash to close, but not increase your monthly payment, or we can slightly increase your monthly payment and leave your cash to close the exact same. And it's it's amazing when people see this. And uh, something else we should also mention, Jonathan, is if someone's doing more than 20% down, then a lot, a lot of times this doesn't actually impact anything. But this is for that special window of people that are doing more than the minimum down, but less than 20%. Yeah, kind of that 10 to 20 range. Yep. So. Yeah, so in this example, you'll see it on the screen right now. This is an actual client of our team, and this person was buying a house for 465, and you can see kind of what would happen if the house appraised for 465, but in this case, the house actually appraised for 441, and so you can see that big gap of $24,000. And Austin, Oof, that's uh, steep. If I'm a buyer, I know your buyers, they don't want to write a check for $24,000. No, sir. And if they were going to a good lender, they would learn that they don't have to. And so the first option we want to talk about is kind of what Austin alluded to. When, when a buyer is buying a house, when they're working with a lender, they're always thinking about their cash to close and their monthly payments. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times, instead of writing that $24,000 check, we can uh, just do a little PMI. And you That's might right. see uh, what, what some of the things we see other lenders throw, throw some, uh, you know, so some food gods. Oh yeah, they, they call it like appraisal gap insurance or these other things. Yeah. It's like, guys, it's just, private mortgage insurance. That's it's just all doing it good math and yeah. working with good lenders. And so there's no special program out there to, you know, protect your appraisal or protect your, your gap or gap insurance. It's just knowing how to move the numbers around and help your borrower. And so in this first example, also we're going to talk about monthly PMI. And so that house doesn't appraise. We need to make up that difference. Well, let's keep your cash to close the same as if the house appraised and just add a little bit of monthly PMI. And so in this example, you can mm -hmm. see that the payments only slightly increased. And then the second option, instead of monthly PMI, we can do upfront mortgage insurance where right. the cash to close is coming up a little bit and that monthly payment is the same as if the house did appraise. And so these are two very easy options. Super easy. I mean, in this scenario, you see that for this client, that their monthly payment only went up 41 bucks. Like that's, that's pretty small compared to 24 thousand dollars right and that pmi is only going to be in place for two years if the home appreciates or if they pay it down and then on the flip side if they decide hey let's go with the upfront this is my personal favorite i love the upfront strategy because that's something you can go back to the seller and go okay maybe the seller isn't willing to come down on this very yeah, much but maybe 000. hey it's a twenty four thousand dollar miss maybe they're willing to give you a couple thousand dollars um you know and you can use that to go toward your upfront mortgage insurance. And then it literally costs the buyer nothing extra to still move forward with this purchase. So I love that strategy personally. Yeah, if you're two pros, buyer's agent and listing agent, that is an easy fix to show the buyers and the sellers like, hey, let's work together, get these people in the house. So and if you're a listing agent yeah. and a buyer's agent comes to you and says, hey, the house didn't appraise, it came in low, you should be asking, say, hey, let me talk to the lender and figure out if you can cover that upfront mortgage insurance. It will cost your seller a lot less to go that route than to come down and meet in the middle or come all the way down. Yeah. So if you guys have more questions on how to handle low appraisals, give us a shout. And it's just another way Austin and I continue to make mortgage simple. We'll see you around. Adios. Adios.